A great way to understand yourself is to seriously reflect on everything you find irritating in others. Kevin Kelly You ever sat down while mulling over a problem or a decision and just need some advice? Some input from someone who has lived a good life and might have an interesting little snippet of wisdom for you at the perfect time? That's exactly what excellent advice for living from Kevin Kelly is. This book has long sat on one of the coffee tables around my house, and I've picked it up more times than I can count to thumb through the 450 aphorisms that it contains. The summary for this book is almost three years in the making because there isn't really a common thread or plot, or even a lot of key points to summarize. Instead, I've decided to take a few of the quotes from each of the eight groups and discuss those. The first of which is thinking. The best way to learn anything is to try to teach what you know. When you attempt to convey knowledge to someone else, you often need to clarify concepts, provide explanations, and answer questions, which can reveal gaps in your own comprehension. Teaching becomes a two-way process that enhances both the teacher's and the learner's knowledge. Curiosity is fatal to certainty. The more curious you are, the less certain you'll be. This quote suggests that as you become more curious and inquisitive about the world, you become increasingly aware of the vastness of knowledge and the complexity of issues. This can lead to a decrease in certainty, as you recognize that there is always more to discover and understand. In essence, curiosity fosters a willingness to question and explore, which can lead to a more nuanced and open-minded perspective. The next topic is giving. Perhaps the most counterintuitive truth of the universe is that the more you give to others, the more you'll get. Understanding this is the beginning of wisdom. When you give more to others, whether it's in the form of kindness, help, support, or resources, you often receive more in return. It alludes to the idea that acts of generosity tend to create a cycle of reciprocity where positive actions lead to positive outcomes. Many Eastern religions would label this karma. Now let's see what he has to say about comparison. Don't measure your life with someone else's ruler, and don't compare your inside to someone else's outside. Both quotes emphasize the importance of self-awareness, self-acceptance, and the avoidance of unhealthy comparisons with others. They advocate for the recognition of individual uniqueness and the understanding that everyone has their own path and struggles in life. There are hundreds of quotes that share this theme by a million different authors which should probably be a clue as to how important this concept is. The next chunk of quotes belong to passion and purpose. Your passion should fit you exactly, but your purpose in life should exceed you. This quote encourages a balance between self-fulfillment through passion and self-transcendence through purpose. It implies that while your passions should be fulfilling and meaningful to you, your life's purpose should be driven by a desire to make a difference in a way that extends beyond your own satisfaction. I think it also ties in with the two quotes about comparison. Your passions are uniquely yours, and should be aligned exactly with who you are. Your purpose, on the other hand, should be too big for you alone to tackle or to be unique in. Think of things like ending child hunger, or landing on Mars. Next, let's discuss a few quotes on habits and work. You are what you do. Not what you say, not what you believe, not how you vote, but what you spend your time on. This quote serves as a reminder that actions speak louder than words, and that one's true identity and values are most accurately reflected in the choices they make and the way they invest their time. It encourages individuals to align their actions with their beliefs and priorities for a more authentic and meaningful life. Don't ever work for someone you don't want to become. We've likely all had a nightmare boss. Work is too big a part of your life to spend it surrounded by people that you don't like and don't want to be around. This ties into finding your purpose as well. If you pursue a purpose greater than yourself and make a job out of it, it is unlikely that you'll find too many of the small-minded, scared, or power-hungry bosses around. Most of those individuals are busy holding on to what they have, not chasing greater things. The sixth topic is that of relationships. Life gets better as you replace transactions with relationships. This quote encourages individuals to prioritize the cultivation of meaningful relationships as a pathway to a more fulfilling and enriched life. It suggests that the quality of our interactions with others plays a central role in shaping our overall well-being and happiness. The next topic ties in with relationships nicely, and that is arguments. 
Whenever you have a choice between being right or being kind, be kind. No exceptions. Don't confuse kindness with weakness. Recognize the power of kindness as a guiding principle in their interactions with others. It highlights that kindness is not a sign of weakness, but rather a reflection of inner strength and the desire to promote understanding and goodwill in all circumstances. And finally, the future. In 100 years, a lot of what we take to be true now will be proved to be wrong, maybe even embarrassingly wrong. A good question to ask yourself today is, what might I be wrong about? This is the only worry worth having. People today spend a lot of time obsessing over the problems the future might bring. Why? The only thing that you can do to change the future is to take action now. In many cases, this simply means getting back to work, enjoying time with friends and family, or just being present. The what might I be wrong about question is a great one to keep yourself curious and open-minded as you go about your day-to-day. -day. Remember, a great way to understand yourself is to seriously reflect on everything you find irritating in others. Kevin Kelly. While I've gone through and highlighted some of my favorite quotes from the book, there are a ton that I didn't highlight and couldn't get to. This is an amazing book to have sitting around the house as you can pick it up in just a few minutes and take away a quote to act or think on. As always, leave your video ideas down in the comments below, and make sure to hit that thumbs up button to like the video. And before you go, make sure to subscribe to the channel.